The Weapons of Legend mod for Tears of the Kingdom has been updated and with it brings some brand new weapons from Majora's Mask, including the awesome Gilded Sword and the beautiful Great Fairy Sword, as well as the Razor Sword and Hero Shield that were already in the mod. So what we're going to do today is use all of the Majora's Mask weapons in this mod against some enemies. You can find the link to this amazing mod in the description below. I've previously featured this mod on my channel and just like the last time, real quick, I'm gonna show y'all where you can obtain all of these weapons, including other weapons from other Zelda games. And it's at the Bargainer statue in Lookout Landing. You can get all of these weapons. But in today's video, we are just going to be focusing on the weapons from Majora's Mask. So we will be starting with the Hero Shield and the Razor Sword from Majora's Mask. I have already featured this weapon and this shield in my previous video showcasing this mod, but I wanted to use it again because, well, first of all, it looks really awesome. I love the work that they did with this mod and just how well it fits into Tears of the Kingdom. And we're going to be doing all of the Majora's Mask weapons in this mod, so it wouldn't make sense to leave out one even if we've already featured it. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we've already got some fighting going on over here. I did not initiate this. I didn't know that you could just come across them fighting normally, the monster control squad, but hey, I guess we're going to be helping them out. It doesn't look like they're doing too well. So let's see if we can just sneak up on this uh here and just uh, surprise them. You know, we'll help out Haas and the monster control squad. Sure. Man, these guys look tough though. Let's see if we can get a flurry rush. Okay, there we go. So this Razor Sword only does 24 damage, so this will be a little bit of a challenge because this isn't going to be doing a ton of damage. But all right, there we go. We're getting Flurry Rush after Flurry Rush. Here we go. Yeah, this really doesn't do a lot of damage on this uh, on this Silver Moblin and these Silver Bacoblins, but they're doing a lot of damage to me. Holy crap. Ah, oh my gosh, dude. Oh, dude, I'm going to die. Holy crap. I did not expect to run into this. We got to do these Majora's Mask weapons justice. Oh, wait, my Razor Sword broke? Wait, what? Okay, so my Razor Sword just broke. I had no idea. I thought the weapons in this mod didn't break. I'm wondering if maybe it's just the Razor Sword that breaks because it does say after 100 hits, you know, the Razor Sword breaks in Majora's Mask. I guess we're going to be switching to the Gilded Sword and hoping that this doesn't break because I am fairly positive that the weapons in this mod don't break. Uh, so that is a little strange but yeah i guess we're switching to the gilded sword which uh was not the plan so the plans are going a little off the rails here but hey i mean it is what it is this definitely does a lot more damage than the razor sword i think it does it says it does 30 another coblin's coming this way we could probably take this guy out pretty quickly with the gilded sword the gilded sword is amazing i love the weapons from majora's mask they're so so cool and creative flurry rush that guy let's see if we can get him in one floor oh my god this feels like it does way more than 30 damage. What in the world? All right, let's finish these last two guys. Two hits. All right, let's get a parry on this guy. Let's see if we can get a nice kill on this guy. Come on. Oh, you're going to run at me? That was your last mistake, buddy. Oh. Okay, we traded hits there, but there we go. We did it. <laughs> I did not expect the monster control squad to be here, but hey, I guess we saved them. Next up, we have the Gilded Sword and the Ikana Mirror Shield. Now, this was supposed to be the first time that I used the Gilded Sword in the video, but my Razor Sword broke, which was completely unexpected. So I'm hoping that this Gilded Sword doesn't break. I'm hoping that it's only the Razor Sword that breaks because it kind of fits in with the actual game. But I've got to say, this Ikana Mirror Shield looks amazing. I love this model and the Gilded Sword looks great too. And I do want to say, listen to the sound it makes whenever you swing the Gilded sword do y'all hear how beefy that sound is it's like they made the guilt they put the like two-handed weapon swing on the gilded sword or something i don't know but it sounds super beefy and honestly i love it it sounds so powerful and amazing which fits with the actual sword in the game because the gilded sword is very very powerful but anyways, we're at the Akala span here. We're about to take on this group of monsters that look very, very powerful and very, very scary. So let's go in there and cause some damage. The Marauders of Akala, this is another monster forces thing. Let's see. So one flurry rush. Yeah, I mean, dude, that is so much damage. I did realize I do have the attack up set bonus of the Ocarina of Time set. So that's definitely helping, but it still feels like it does a ton of damage. I mean, look at that. And this mirror shield is amazing. I love how it looks. It's 
I mean, Majora's Mask, the weapons just always look so great. I can't wait to show y'all the Great Fairy Sword as well. There we go. Let's see if I can get a spin attack and take out this blue Goblin as well. Oh, yep, yeah, we got him. Nice. Oh, we just got shot. Okay, I, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We are very, very powerful right now. I mean, look at that. Nice, dude. All right, I don't have a bow, so we just got to run up at these guys. Try not to get hit. We got two Moblins, so this should be a good challenge for us here. Oh, there we go. We took out that guy. See if we can parry an arrow. I love doing that, but it's so, like, unpredictable. Come on. Oh, it's so hard. There we go. We parried an arrow. Oh, yeah. All right, can I get this guy off the ledge? Let's see. I don't know. I don't think he'll fall. Someone's blowing their horn over there. Oh, we got two more Bacabas with bows. Okay, well, this isn't going to be that hard. They have no no form of defense. It's just bows. So we'll be able to take the rest of these guys out pretty quickly. But yeah, it doesn't seem like this sword... I feel like if it did have durability, this sword would already be saying it's like low on durability or something. So it must just be the Razor Sword. I really don't know. I know there's a setting in the files of this mod that lets you enable durability for all the weapons, but I'm pretty sure it's turned off by default. Unless the update that I downloaded for this mod just had it on by default. I really don't know. I think it must just be the Razor Sword. <laughs> Let's just pretend like that was the first time that I used the Gilded Sword in this video. Alright, so for our final Majora's Mask weapon, we have the Great Fairy Sword from Majora's Mask. And guys, this freaking sword is beautiful. I love this sword in Majora's Mask, and it just looks amazing in Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, this is literally, it literally has my two favorite colors, green and purple, and that design on it is just so freaking beautiful. I mean, it just looks, it looks incredible. This has got to be like one of my favorite swords of all time in the Zelda series. It's, it's amazing. But I'm going to go fight this white main Lionel over here. And oh, actually, I have an idea. We're going to put the Majora's Mask on. Oh, wait, what? Did he spot me? Oh no, we're good. Are we good? Look, look, it's me, Majora from Majora's Mask. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can fake him out. Okay, I, I do have a bow equipped with this mod. The uh, the bows are like invisible, so we have the hero's bow. So let's see if we can. Come on, come on, get him, get him. No! Oh man, I'm using an Xbox controller. I'm so used to using motion controls to aim my bow. Dang it. Okay, well the ruse is up. Let's put our cap back on. Uh, that's unfortunate. There we go. We got a Flurry Rush. Let's see how much damage it does. It actually, it does 50 damage. So we should be able to get some good damage off on this guy. But I want to use my bow because I want to see if I can aim properly. It's probably going to be really embarrassing because like I said, I'm very used to motion controls. Okay, there we go. Get on his back. Right his back. Come on. Great Fairy Sword. Let's go. Oh, that was a good amount of hits. And this Hero's Bow. This is from Twilight Princess, but I mean... It was technically the Hero of Time's bow, which is who we play as in Majora's Mask, of course. I did see on the mod page on Game Banana that the mod creator Tack does plan on adding the Hero's bow from Majora's Mask, so that will be really cool. We can have a full, authentic Majora's Mask loadout, not have to use the bow from Twilight Princess. All right, let's focus up. Yeah, like, I cannot aim with that. Oh, here we go. Let's use the shield. Oh, no, I failed. No, that's so embarrassing. All right, Flurry Rush, let's go. Dude, this sword is beautiful. Oh, let's go. Come on. Oh, okay, that that is very embarrassing because I never missed that. Uh Oh, let's see if we can wait, wait, wait. I need to heal because I'm going to die if I don't if I don't if I don't get this parry. Come on. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a little rusty. but It's okay because we have the Great Fairy Sword. So we will not lose this battle. Let's see if we can get on the Lionel's back one more time. And then that should be the kill. Oh, nope. Never mind the bow. Oh, no. We didn't kill it with the Majora's Mask weapon. No. Here, there we go. The final slice. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, those were all of the Majora's Mask weapons in Tears of the Kingdom. Again, this mod is called Weapons of Legend, and I seriously recommend downloading this mod. This mod is incredible, and the creators of this mod seriously did an amazing, amazing job. Let me know if y'all want me to do more videos on this mod because I have more ideas for loadouts that we can do. For example, I'll give you a little sneak peek of something that was also added in the latest update of this mod, and that is the Dark Heroes set. So we have Dark Link's Master Sword and 
Dark Link's Hylian Shield, and it looks incredible. So if y'all want me to do a video on that, then let me know in the comments below because I would totally be down to do that. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys like the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.